So the Cowboys signed Johnny Dixon. I had to look around and say, man, who is this guy? And if you're from Ohio or you root for the Ohio State, you will know who exactly Johnny Dixon is. And he's been with that team since 2014. He's been there for five years, and he bounced from team to team, from team to team to team to team. Of course, he played for the Texans as well as the Arizona Cardinals, and then he tried out for the Browns, I believe. And I believe he made one of those teams practice squad, so there's no NFL footages of Johnny Dixon. But we can get into the meat and potatoes of everything, of what happened. This guy been riddled with injuries. He's like the Sean Lee of the wide receivers from the Ohio State, but worse, as far as the injuries. And I'm not trying to sell you or denigrate the kid or make light of, but when Johnny was on the field, Johnny was scoring. I think he had in 2017 and 18, back-to-back eight touchdowns in that particular season. That's 16 total touchdowns north of 1,000 yards. And he was their go-to guy, captain of the team. A lot of people looked up to him, and he was the leader, the voice and everything, especially the voice of reasonings there. So when I look at it, I say, okay, yes, he's 5'11". Uh, he's a 4'4 guy, 4'4", 3 to be exact. And when you think of Johnny you might think of, okay, he coming in for, well, the Cowboys signed him for a reason. Maybe it'll be leadership qualities. Maybe it'll be uh, camp body. Maybe, maybe just maybe it will be a situation where Bones Fossil love his gunner because he a gunner mentality for special teams and he a kickoff return guy. So maybe that could be the situation and scenario of reasonings why to bring him in. And we, we love the underdog, right? So the storyline may be pretty good. And I know we just talked about Julio Jones. We just talked about some of the undrafted guys like TJ Vasher, who is a who is a dog, by the way, six foot six. If you are a TJ fan, just put TJ in the comment box, because I know a lot of people been yelling at me saying, hey, TJ is going to make this team and he's going to be that dog. Law. Trust me, he's going to be that dog. And then, of course, we've got Brandon eagles out there and i think we got another guy named brandon smith i believe that went to iowa so we got a lot of guys fighting and clawing to get on this team and we can't leave out simi who i just did a film review on him and i think that this kid got some special talent him and tj they both got some special talent and we'll find out iron sharp and iron steel sharp and steel but when we look back at what Stephen Jones had to say about free agency one and undrafted guys and drafted guys, he's looking. He's looking for somebody to replace the guys that they already got. And there's nothing wrong with that to know for a fact that you're, I guess you can call it, what? Stephen J. Player personnel. Said Stephen J. That's too. That's too cool of a nickname for him. Stephen Jones. What he's player personnel? Yeah, he's over that. So he determines. Vice president of player personnel, right? Is that is that his title? Whatever his title is, he determines who is on his team and which direction they would like to go. And of course, we know that Jerry Wayne Jones got a major part of it. But let's be real. He's not looking at film. He's not. So it goes to this right here, leaving no stone unturned and figuring this thing out. Now, I believe that Noah Brown is not going down without a fight. Cedric Wilson is not going down without a fight. Of course, Mari Cooper, he, he cemented in on this particular team. And, and as well as CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup, he's just knocking on the door saying, Hey, coach. Hey, Jerry. Hey, John Stephen Jones. Don't forget about me now. Don't forget about me. This is my contract year. You guys better get that ink on that paper ready because I'm coming out here to eat. That's his mentality, regardless of how anybody look at it. That that Michael Gallup, he hears what everybody's saying, and he's very competitive. So there's a lot of things that's that's going on with this team. But wide receivers, 
I would you would think that this would be the last thing that they would look for as far as talent evaluations. But like John Stephen Jones says, player evaluation is 365. So now if you seen Johnny Dixon film and then you got a chance to see what all he can and can't do or what have you, post me your thoughts down below on that. Now I know, I know training camp is just what it is. It's a tryout type of situation. We want to know who's the dog, who's the one that, that's going to do the actual biting opposed to just barking. Biting mean getting those yards or making those tackles. And I know you can't hit in practice, but who can recall information and who will fold up like a wallet or a lawn chair? One thing I can say about this team, the 2021 Cowboys team, new attitude and everybody it just appears that everybody wanted now i know somebody going to say well you said that last year law you said that everybody wanted it last year well we didn't get a chance to see we didn't get a chance to hear this type of stuff during this time frame if you can rewind was nothing going on because of the crazy stuff that's going on with the with the world i'm not going to say the word because y'all know what the word is had everybody in shambles still is you know everything is still kind of crazy but um it was worse last season so we'll find out who like they said cream rises to the top we'll figure that out right so johnny dixon i think he's what 26 maybe 27 years of age it's been a long time man five years in college that's too long to be in there man <laughs> Whew. Five to six years in college and then to get out in 2000 and I believe 18, 19. I want to know if he knows Ezekiel Elliott. He should know him, right? He should know Ezekiel Elliott and see how that thing shake out. Maybe, just maybe. You know, I always say with, with new places, new beginnings, sometimes new attitude and new new feelings. So if he can get back to some of those graces of what he did in 2017 and 18 while he was at Ohio State oh I'm sorry for those Ohio State fans the Ohio State maybe just maybe competition but I already told you guys on my two guys that I really really like out of this the undrafted class which is TJ and of course Simi so we'll see when the lights turn on what all of the rest of the guys can do Post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below. My name is Law Nation. Uh, we talk Cowboys, sports talk, football, and beyond. And let's get this thing going the best way possible. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Johnny, you got to do something. <laughs> we got some dogs out there as far as the defensive side. So, man, you, your 5'11 self better be ready. You better be ready. You're a solid guy, but you better be ready. <laughs>